Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm very excited to show you guys this video of the, what I found in the settings of my graphics driver and in Fortnite to make my gameplay smoother. All these clips are before the update that came out on the 22nd. Um, so you can see right here, like this player glitches across the screen. Um, just different glitches, like nothing feels smooth, my edits don't feel smooth, the game just feels choppy. I know that Fortnite came out and said that they were having FPS drop issues, but I don't feel like it wasn't really the drops, it almost felt like input lag that I was having, because my game wasn't very smooth. I was missing my shots, like, I knew something had to change, so I went looking for the settings that I changed, and, I mean, I, it made me love Fortnite again after having smooth gameplay, hitting my shots. Um, let me know if you guys change these settings and find the same results. These clips I'm showing you right now are from before I changed the settings, so you can see things like missed shots, choppy edits, um, just the way the, the screen looks after I edit. It almost looks like a delay before it shows me um, the player behind the wall. Um, so let me know for sure if, if you guys want more videos like this, if I find anything else out. But I really think that this is going to help you guys improve your gameplay, improve your shotgun shots. Um, so I'm just going to talk through some of the things that I was saying right here in these clips. Um, I, I, I felt like I was still playing fine, and I know that other the opponents were having lag too. But I really, I really hate lag. I really hate the glitchiness feeling. Um, my edits, like right there, I, I got to hit that edit. But... Like if you see right here with my sub shots, I'm like I'm almost trailing behind the guy instead of hitting him with every shot. So after these few clips, I got a couple more clips that I'm showing here. After these, it's gonna go into the clips from after I changed my settings when it felt so smooth. I was hitting all my edits, I was hitting all my shots. I felt like I couldn't lose basically unless I screwed up myself. But um, then I'll then I'll go to the settings. I'll put timestamps in so you guys can look at um if you just want to look at the settings you don't care about the gameplay you trust me um, i'll put the timestamps in so you don't have to watch the whole video but i hope you enjoy these clips and i'm just gonna let it roll into the uh actual gameplay let you guys enjoy this and then i'll be right back with uh, the settings changes Sagar's gonna go on the ball. Oh my god, the delay time. I have no idea. 
Those kids just were ghosts in the night. Oh, they're right in front of me. I hear your shots. <laughs> they are fight. Okay, now I'm going to go over the settings changes. So on your computer, you're going to go to settings, system, scroll down to about. Under this related settings, you're going to go to system info, advanced system settings on this left side of the screen. And now under this advanced tab right here, you're going to click on settings and you're gonna adjust for best performance. Right now it's probably on let Windows choose what's best for my computer, but if you put it on adjust for best performance, you're gonna get rid of all the things that you don't want going on in the background of your, com of your computer. Okay, the second thing isn't as big of an issue, but I'm just trying to get rid of everything that's going on in the background of my game. So I'm going settings, main settings, I'm going to personalization, clicking on colors, and transparency effects right here, I'm turning it off. So with it on, you can see on the screen right here, it's like transparent, it's cooler, but if you just turn it off, that has less um, workload on your CPU. Okay, this next setting change is actually in the AMD settings. If you have an NVIDIA driver, I will link in the uh, description, like a article about how to change this. So I've read multiple things on this, and it says it decreases your FPS performance. But what I've noticed is it's not so much of an FPS issue in Fortnite, it's the lag. Your, um, the setting right here called, if you go into your Fortnite settings, not your global settings, it's called Radon Anti-Lag. It's called something else in the G-Sync settings, but the anti-lag um, reduces the input lag on your controller or keyboard or mouse whatever you're doing it does decrease your fps like i think it's like four to five percent but i mean you're talking about input lag when you're hitting those quick edits you're flicking your shotgun you want it to be exactly where you're shooting exactly where you're pointing your cursor so this is a setting that i turned on and it's helped me a ton next is in the display Click on scaling mode and go to full panel if you're not already on it. It um, <clears throat> helps increase the FPS ratio to your actual monitor. It's not that big of an issue if you're not on it, but it is the optimal way to have your display set up. Okay, the last few settings here to improve your gameplay and performance are actually in Fortnite. Um, the first one isn't to improve FPS, it's actually to improve your gameplay. It's the new editing setting. If you scroll, if you go to the little gear, you scroll down, you will see the setting that is confirm edit on release. So like for me using a controller, when I let go of my right trigger, it's going to 
confirm the edit without me actually pressing my confirm button. You still have to press confirm if you're on controller when you're resetting an edit. Hopefully they change that in the future, but this makes your edits way faster because you're pressing one less button. Same thing goes if you're on mouse and keyboard, you have to press one less button. This last two settings, I might get some negative feedback from it, but I don't care because I know that this works the best for me. The two things I changed is I put textures all the way to epic and I put the anti-aliasing on medium. So putting my textures to, ep to epic setting, the reason for that is it barely reduces your performance. It's like one to 2%, but it makes your gameplay way smoother by um, pixelating like the things on your screen more. Um, you, can, you can see better, you can see in close range better. Uh, the anti-aliasing now, it makes everything way smoother on your screen. So instead of having jagged edges when you're spinning really fast because you have your sensitivity on high, there's no jagged edges that you're seeing. It smooths out the edges so it makes it a much easier visual appearance on your screen. I've noticed that this, this setting itself has helped me with my shotgun shots and close range fights when you're turning really quick or you're hitting nice little flicks. Um, it, and it probably decreases your FPS performance by about 2% if you have it on medium, but again, I really don't think FPS is that big of the issue when you're talking about hitting your shotgun shots in close range. It's the input lag and it's what you're seeing on your screen. So these are the settings. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, like this video if it helped. Share it to your friends. Um, good luck in your next few games. Get some wins.